Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to talk a little bit about this. I've been having a lot of fun printing under tarantula. I tell you what, for roughly a $200 printer, this has been a lot of fun. So I did the um, two up before in the past, and that was really a pain. Uh, it was a pain to build, it was a pain to use, but I tell you what, this guy, just for 200 bucks is a lot of fun. Um, actually thinking about getting another one just because I had so much fun building it and uh, so much fun using it. But one of the things that I've noticed the problem on is this, this uh, the, the bed cable. The way it's dragging, it wants to get caught on this motor, if, if you see. And I, I try looping it around, but I don't see a good answer to it. So what I'm going to do is I want to come up with a solution that, that loops the cable through through here because I think I'm going to have to kind of move this over a little bit, but I want the cable be, to be able to feed back and forth through here, as you, as you sort of see here. So I want to build um, something to go on top of this motor to route this cable so it doesn't fall over here and drag. So, tell you what to do. Let's hop over to Tinkercad and let's make something to solve this problem. Okay, so here we are inside Tinkercad. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a cube. And what I want to do is I want to turn this, I want this to be 25 by 25. There's a little bit of logic behind this because I'm going to use some double-sided tape. It's about 25 millimeters uh, wide. So uh, again, I kind of want to make it about that so it covers the base of it. And so I figured making it square would be good. So the other piece is, is I now want to bring in um, a circle. And then what I want to do is I want to rotate the circle 90 degrees. And then I want to kind of twist it around this way by 90 degrees. And I want to change this to be also 25 by 25 by 25. So it's about the same, same size as my uh, bed here. So, and then I'm going to raise this up all <clears throat> a little bit uh, so it just clips into the bottoms ever so slightly and I'm just kind of taking a look here um, to make sure okay now the one thing is my cable is about 10, 10 millimeters um, in diameter but I want to give it a little bit extra room so I'm going to duplicate this guy and bring it over here and then I'm going to say that this is going to be eh, I'm going to start out at 20 uh, because I'm going to have to play this by ear a little bit and I'm going to make this by 20 and I am going to extend this out by about 30 because I want to make this this is going to this guy is going to turn into a hole and so I'm going to bring this guy back in and so I want to leave a little bit of beef between it and this guy. So I'm going to do it in the line. So I want to get this, this up there. And um, it's poking all the way through, which is pretty good. Now, one of the pieces that I want to do is I'm going to bring in um, another cube. And I'm going to make this about, oh, I'm going to make it about 10 wide. And then I'm going to make it about... 30 tall and then I'm going to bring this guy in here well oops I want to make this about yeah I want to keep it yeah, about that so um, so again I'm going to select this guy this guy in the hole and then I'm going to align them all again just so I can pretty much see how everything's going to fit together um, because what I want to do is I want this guy to be a little bit of a fillet on both the top and the bottom. And we're going to have to get too particular here. Uh, because the other thing is I have to make enough of an opening where this is going to slide through. And this is where the triangle is going to come in handy. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this guy over 180 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this guy also about 30 millimeters and I'm going to pull this up and then I'm going to move this in place. Also notice one of the things that I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to consolidate most of my you know uh, 
groupings as much as possible. So as you can see now, I'm coming into this. Now this is going to be my opening for, I'm going to probably go a little bit more than 10. I think I'm going to go about 15 because uh, I want it to be a little bit uh, sharper in there. And then I just need to make sure I got this. And then let's slide this guy back. And you can kind of see what's going to happen here. Um, because I want I want some ears on this to kind of pull it apart now what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm going to group this whole thing now and then I'm going to do an align and so I want to get all this stuff centered so there we go we have this centered I'm gonna take the align away now I still want to drop this down because I want to I want a pretty good size opening here because this is going to be in PLA so it's not going to be too stretchy if you know what I mean uh, but I just wanted to maintain the sides. Um, so I think that looks pretty good. I think I got everything I need there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to group all this and boom. And I'm going to change the color. I don't like red. I like I like the orange look. So here's what we done, have done. So we built a base that's 25 by 25. We filleted it in sides to give it some extra strength. We made a chase to run the cable through, and we made a couple ears for extra strength up here and to be able to pull apart, and then, um, you know, hopefully, you know, be able to take expanding for the, the 10 millimeter cable, and then what happens is it should run through the side. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and send this off to be printed. Okay, welcome back. So uh, we took a quick look at um, designing this in uh, Tinkercad. One of the things I did go back and do is uh, I added a lip here. Uh, instead of having a hard edge, I used two cones as holes and uh, made this a little bit of a beveled edge. With no supports, it came out a little bit funky, but it, it's, it's fine. And again, uh, very solid. I also moved the uh, square out a little bit, so... Uh, it actually came out pretty good. So what I've also done is put some double-sided adhesive tape on the bottom here. The idea is I'll peel this off and then what I will do is center it on top of this motor and just kind of press it down. Then what will happen is the cable will sit inside there. So as the bed slides back and forth it'll move the cable through um, this opening. So like that is how it should work. So, uh, and again, that's why I put that uh, kind of beveled this this edge. Um, so I think with, with time is, is the cable also um, kind of gains that. So it's got, you know, it's got plenty of flexibility and again it's it's tall enough that uh, again it shouldn't pop out of there. But what I could also do if I wanted to is put a small rubber band across these lips to kind of hold this down or, or something like that. Uh, but I don't think, I don't think I'll need that in it'll keep it from getting jammed because the problem I was getting is, is it was getting um, caught on this motor down here and causing me some problems so uh, anyways this uh, seems to work pretty good I'll throw this up on Thingiverse so hey anyways just kinda want to share it with you guys if you're having a similar problem how to go about fixing it um, so again loving the tarantula having a good time with it so hey give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you in the next video cheers Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.